Hey guys, uh, in this tutorial, we'll create a fun and interesting food calorie finder using Django and Python. So if you're new to Django or Python or trying to get into web development as well, this tutorial will be fun and you will learn a lot of things. Uh, so just to give a demonstration on how this works and uh, what we'll be working on, uh, this is going to be the main interface of the app, right? So this app will be a single page application so that you do not have to worry about working on too many pages. All right, so let's say I want to find the uh, calorie contents for, let's say I've opened up uh, top European foods here. Uh, let's click on uh, gyros and it's from Greece. So I'm going to paste that in. <clears throat> All right, it says gyros has a total of 184 calories and you can see the nutritional values, got carbohydrates, cholesterol, saturated fat, sodium, sugar, etc. And it also got a chart at the bottom of the page uh, where the user will get uh, a picturistic view of the nutritional values of uh, gyros or whatever food he is looking for. All right, so and one glance at it and you'll know it's high in salt and that's sodium. Uh, and to burn 184 calories, the user will have to, uh, or the person who's eating gyros will have to jog for 29 minutes, uh, do power yoga for 28 minutes, uh, get a gym workout for 25 minutes and go for a brisk walk for 44 minutes and this is a very simple calculation that we uh, use here inside the Django template you do not have to write a separate program for this and we're basically manipulating the values uh, uh, through the API here all right uh, and let's look for something else let's look for pizza <clears throat> everybody likes pizza right let's paste that in all right, so pizza has a total of 262 gra uh, calories and guys that's for 100 grams all right so uh, depending on what the size of pizza is it will vary all right uh, so you have the nutritional values for pizza uh, it's high in sodium as well all right and as you can see uh, there is an emoji icon a gawking emoji icon which is triggered once uh, the calorie value is about 200 for per 100 grams all right so this is again a conditional image that we'll be loading in so we'll be learning how to do that also we'll have alert messages now let's say uh, something is high in sodium let's put in salt all right so uh, this food contains a high amount of sodium so we get this alert when something is very high in sodium all right uh, also let's look at sugar if something in high if something is high in sugar we're going to trigger an alert saying that, uh, you know, this food contains a high amount of sugar, right? Uh, so, yeah, uh, all this is uh, fetched through an API. We do not have anything stored in our database. We're not going to use the database for this tutorial. Uh, everything is fetched through an API called API Ninjas, all right? So, uh, this is the API call that we'll do and fetch all the details from here and paste and sorry post it inside our app all right uh, so we'll look into that as we move along and by the end of this tutorial you will learn how to make an api call and populate the information inside a django template so this is the api call that we'll make and uh, we'll also learn how to make post requests and fetch data from an external api and load that inside our django template all right, we'll also learn how to use if and else conditions to display uh, specific images like these and alerts like these within the Django template. You'll also learn how to use charts and we're going to use charts.js for this. Uh, we are not going to get into uh, too much of JavaScript. Uh, we are going to keep it uh, very minimum. All right, we're just loading the API data in, uh, inside the chart. So that's fine. It's very simple. And uh, you'll also learn uh, a lot of uh, other things related to Django. All right, so uh, we'll be building this web app from scratch. All right, starting from the design. All right, we're going to convert this into HTML and CSS. We're also going to use Bootstrap for this. And then we are going to uh, jump into the installing uh, Python and Django. All right, uh, so if you do not want to get into the design HTML and CSS part of it, uh, then this HTML file will be available on GitHub. And the link to that will be given in the description box below. Alright, so let's dig in and get this done guys. Uh, see you in the next video.